Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can install a powerhouse to run virtual computers and several operating systems on your Linux computer. We will install and enable virtualization with KVM. KVM stands for Kernel Based Virtual Machine. This software allows users to run multiple virtual machines with different operating systems. KVM is open source and has been refined and improved over the last 10 years. We will also install a program called VidManager to add and update your virtual machines with a graphical user interface easily. In KVM, you can install nearly all operating systems. All Linux distributions are supported and of course Windows 11. And I personally use Windows 11 and Office 365 installed in a virtual machine for my daily work and it works super stable it's fast and it's easy to maintain so let's install virtualization on arch linux and now to ubuntu users also you can install kvm on your system just search for vid manager in your software center and install the corresponding re dependencies but now let's jump in you know, I'm a big fan in automating installations of applications or of my uh, Linux system with bash scripts. And also for the installation of KVM, I have created an installation script. I move into my Arch install folder and I open the file 7-kvm.sh. And here in this installation file, you see all the commands that are required to install KVM and Vid Manager on an Arch Linux system. Instead of running that installation script now, I will enter all commands one after the, the other into the terminal. Okay, let's start with the installation of the main packages. We install packages on Arch Linux with sudo pacman s. We need virt manager, our graphical user interface, virt viewer. I need to enter the password and I can install all packages by confirming the installation with Y. So installation of the main packages for KVM is done. Now we need to open the configuration file of libvirt. It's located in etc libvirt and the file is called libvirtd.conf. And here you have to scroll down a bit and uncomment two lines. The first one is this line unix soc group equals libvirt. Please uncomment this line. And this line unix soc rw permissions in that case equals 0770. If this is done, you can write and close the file here in Vim with wq. The next important step is that you need to add your user to the new groups KVM and libvirt. I will do this. Done. And then we can enable the libvirt D service with sudo system ctl enable libvirt D. And we can start the service with sudo systemctl start libvirt d. And if we reboot the system, then the virtualization environment will be started automatically. Next one is we need to make sure that you can start virtual machines with your own user, so without using uh, root commands or the root user. To do this, we need to open another configuration file. It's etc libvirt and the configuration file of QEMU. And also here you have to scroll down and uncomment and edit two lines. Please search for user and enter here your username and please search for group and enter here your username as well then you can write and close the file with wq. The next step is to 
enable these changes is we need to restart the service, libvirt d. Done. Another important setting is that we want to make sure that the virtual network connection of KVM will be started every time you boot up into your computer, that you have immediately a network connection for all of your virtual machines. And this is this command, sudo virsh virsh net dash auto start default. Network default marked as auto started. And that's the installation of KVM. You can reboot your system with reboot and the service should be up and running. You can find all the commands in my uh, KVM installation script, which is available in GitLab. And you will find the link to that script in the description below. Let's see if everything works correctly. I open the application Virtual Machine Manager. And you see that the connection to the virtualization environment QMU KVM is correct installed. And um, I have already three virtual machines available on my system. Um, but let's create a new virtual machine. To do this, I click here on that icon. The next step is that I need to choose the ISO file from the operation system that I have downloaded from the internet. For this example, I use the file of Arch Linux. Arch Linux is automatically detected. I can click on forward. I enter eight gigs on my system. I choose 12 CPUs. I create a hard disk of 40 gigabytes. Let's check if the network connection is running. Yes, virtual network default NAT is running. And I want to customize the installation before installing the virtual machine. Now we have the foundation done to install several operation systems on your Linux system with KVM. And it's super flexible. It's a powerhouse for virtual machines. Give it a try. In upcoming videos, I will show you how you can install several operating systems with KVM on your computer. You can use it for testing. You can use it at work, on your daily business. It's super stable, super fast and reliable. If you want to stay up to date, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.